Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about date object in JavaScript. So date object is used to create date and time values. The different ways in which we can create new date is given on the screen. So first we have to write the where keyword, then variable name is equal to new date with the D capital and in the round brackets we will pass on the date. So if we don't pass the date it will take the current date and if we give the date it will consider that particular date so the date can be given in this format year month day hours minutes seconds and milliseconds you can see from this example uh, we have created a variable d in which we have not passed any value in the date method so because of this it has considered the current date But if we pass on the value like we have done in D1, so it will consider that particular date. See here, the date that we had passed was 15th Feb 2021 and the time was also given. So that particular time it has considered. Now there are certain methods in date object. The list is given on the screen you can see the first we will see each of these methods one by one the first method is get date so get date will return the day of the month the value for this will be in the range 1 to 31 depending on the date so you can see on the screen we have created a variable date which will consider obviously the current date and according to the current date we have to get the date from that so that's why we have written the variable name d dot get date so according to the current date the current day of the month is 23 next method is get day which will give the day of the week which will be in the range 0 to 6 so if it is sunday it will give you value 0, Monday will be 1, Tuesday will be 2 and likewise. So you can see again we have done the same thing. We have taken the current date and according to current date if we apply this get day method to the current day we will get value as 2 because the current date has day as Tuesday. The next method is get full year. So this get full year will return the year which is obviously of four digits. So same thing we have done. We have taken a date variable D which has the current date. And when we apply this get full year method we get the year which is 2021. Next method is get hours. So it will return the R and this R will be in the range 0 to 23. It is in the 12, 24 hour format. So if we apply this get hours method to the current date, we will get the result as 4. Next method is get minutes. So it will return the minutes. And this value will be in between 0 to 59. So according to the current date, the minutes will be 24. Next method is get month. So it will return the month in this particular date. So month will be in the range 0 to 11. 0 represents January 1 for Feb February 3 or oh sorry 2 for March and so on. So you can see when we apply this method to the date we will get the month as 2 because it, it is March. Next method is get seconds. So the method get second will return the seconds in your date. So according to this current date, the seconds is 14, which is displayed on the screen. Next method is the get time method so get time method returns the number of milliseconds since midnight jan 1st 
1970 so it will calculate the number of milliseconds and it will display that particular milliseconds on the screen so from the given date that we have given the number of milliseconds is displayed on the screen next is the now method so now method will return the uh, number of milliseconds since mid midnight till now so till the current time it will return the milliseconds next method is the set date method so the set date will set the day of the month to the particular date so if we have uh, given taken the current date so if we apply set date so the current date was 23 march after applying set date 7 the change date will be march 7 next it is set full year so set full year will set the year of the date object so you can see here according to the current date the year is 2021 after applying set full year 2023 the year will be 2023 next method is set hours so set hours will set the hours in the current date so according to the current date the hours is 4 after applying set hours 8 the hours will become 8 next method is set minutes so using this you can change the minutes value of date object so according to the current date the minutes is 24 and after applying set minutes 8 the new value will be 8 next method is set month so set month will be setting the set uh, month of the particular date so it will change the month so currently the month was march and when we write d dot set month 5 so it will change the month to june next method is set second so it will change the seconds in the current date so previously the seconds was 14 after applying set seconds 45 the new date will have seconds as 45 next method is set time method which is the last method of date object so it will set the date to the specified number of milliseconds before or after jan 1st 1970 so whatever value you specify here accordingly it will count the number of milliseconds and then it will display the date with respect to jan 1st 1970 Thank you for watching this video.